And this is a good benchmark around six or 7% of the total overall diet because eating this type of food can cause picky eating. Cats are definitely very keen on that strong smell and that strong taste. So you don't wanna to give too much of it, but it is an incredible source of vitamin D, the most natural source of vitamin D, omega fatty acids. So we can't ignore it. <laughs> and I, that's why I've changed my mind about it completely. Now I would say that you might want to uh, limit it if you're feeding commercial food, especially you know if that's the only protein source, but it definitely makes an, a great additional fresh food topper. And I think that it's a staple in homemade diets now. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho, and it is sardine Sunday. Spoiler alert, we're gonna talk about some sardines. This stinky magical fish that I have completely changed my mind about when it comes to especially homemade cat food, but even if you wanna offer a fresh food topper on your cat's dry or wet food in the transition to raw and homemade. So first let's talk about the nutritional analysis, the nutritional benefits, and this is based on what the NRC recommends for the average 10 pound cat. So if we take 0.3 ounces of sardines, that's going to offer 8% of calories, 19% of the required protein, 21% of the required fat, over 900% of arachidonic acid, over 2,500% EPA and DHA, 15% calcium, 26% phosphorus, 16% magnesium, 125% vitamin D, 11% B2, 9% B6, 19% B3, and 73% B12. Now, of course, these numbers will change as you add more food to the diet. They will kind of balance out and this will affect the numbers, but it's pretty interesting just to see what a little piece of sardine will provide. And 0.3 ounces is about 7% of the diet if you're feeding four ounces of food. And that's the typical amount for the average 10 pound cat when you're feeding raw or homemade cat food. And this is a good benchmark around six or 7% of the total overall diet because eating this type of food can cause picky eating. Cats are definitely very keen on that strong smell and that strong taste. So you don't wanna to give too much of it, but it is an incredible source of vitamin D, the most natural source of vitamin D, omega fatty acids. So we can't ignore it. <laughs> and I, that's why I've changed my mind about it completely. Now I would say that you might want to uh, limit it if you're feeding commercial food, especially you know if that's the only protein source, but it definitely makes an, a great additional fresh food topper and I think that it's a staple in homemade diets now. And if you're interested in making homemade cat food, it's a lot easier than you think. I'll put some recipes and my how-to guide in the description below. So as a treat topper, again, I wouldn't go more than about six or 7% of your cat's overall total daily intake. So this would be about 0.3 ounces or eight and a half grams if you're feeding four ounces of food total or 113 grams of food daily. We don't want any toppers to exceed 10% of the cat's overall diet because then if it's more than that, it's going to affect the nutrients of the actual standalone meal. So you don't want to do anything in excess or in deficiency. You know, maybe once in a while, this is fine if you give a little extra, but you don't want it to be a daily thing because then you would be taking away from the nutrients from the standalone diet. You also don't wanna overfeed your cats, so make sure you're doing the maths to make sure that you're not overfeeding your cat. Again, once in a while this is fine, but every single day then those that extra energy is going to add up. So you wanna take away equal parts of your cat's total daily intake when you're feeding fresh food toppers. So I'd suggest using canned sardines that have the skin and bones and definitely canned in water. I've found that if it does not say skinless, boneless, then that means that it does include the skins and bones. And the bones are absolutely tiny. They're completely fine for your cat to eat. 
You can eat them too. I actually share sardines with Jericho, so I use them for his homemade food every week, and then I eat the rest. And like I mentioned, canned in water, that's always going to be better than sunflower, canola, and all these other oils. And you wanna make sure that there's no salt added. If you can only find in oil, just rinse it off very well. I mean, if you're only giving a small amount, then it's likely not to, not going to, do that much, but you know, these, these oils aren't that great. And uh, apparently olive oil isn't always 100% olive oil, at least in the US. So just something to be mindful of. And you can check out this video right over on Meow to see my mom's four cats testing one of my boneless recipes. That includes sardines. They absolutely devoured it, another spoiler alert. They loved it the very first time they had it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.